Hey y'all, thank you so much for watching my channel. So this is probably the first time that many of y'all have seen me with my darker locks. I think that I started filming when I was transitioning back to blonde, so I changed it up a lot and it just kind of goes to show that hair color and hair dye can make the biggest difference in a person's appearance. So I guess it kind of like sparked me to think, oh my gosh, some of these missing persons could literally be passing you by on the street and you could have no clue because I have been told so many times that I look like a completely different person with darker hair versus blonde. So I guess that's something to definitely keep in mind. Um, focus, I guess, more on the facial features um, and the demographics versus just the photos themselves alone. So anyways, um, let's get started with today's Still Missing. On August 8, 1995, 15-year-old Missy Ortega and her 13-year-old sister, Crystal Ortega, left their family's residence in Troop, Texas. Neither one of the sisters have been seen or heard from since. Authorities initially believed that they had left on their own accord, but have since reconsidered this theory. Misty Dawn Ortega is classified as endangered missing. She was 15 years old at the time of her disappearance, making her 39 today. She stood at 5'9 and weighed 140 pounds. She is described as a Caucasian female with brown hair and hazel eyes. Misty may wear contact lenses or glasses. Crystal Lynn Ortega is classified as endangered missing. She was 13 years old at the time of her disappearance, making her 37 today. She is 5'4 and 130 pounds. She is described as a Caucasian female with brown hair and brown eyes. Crystal may wear contact lenses or glasses. Now, for some reason, in Misty and Crystal's cases, upon my investigation, I have found two different places from which they were last seen or disappeared from, and that will be Mixon, Texas and Troop, Texas. There's about 288 miles between the two, and the family's residence was in Troop, but I am completely unsure how Mixon, Texas got introduced into where they were last seen from. If y'all can find any information on that, please drop it below because I do not know how Namus is reporting Mixon and everybody else is reporting Troop. 17-year-old Angel Dawn Wilson was last seen in Spokane, Washington on August 10th, 2007. She has a long history of running away from home and authorities believe that she had left on her own accord when she disappeared in 2007. When she was 17 years old, she got permission from her father to marry a 21-year-old man. Her husband stated that on the day of her disappearance, he came home from work that evening to find Angel smoking methamphetamine. They argued about it and he told her to stop using drugs or he would end their relationship. He says that Angel left the house and she was never seen again. When he woke up the following morning, he found Angel's wedding ring on the table. Angel was raised by her father, and he stated that she started having behavioral problems in middle school and began dating older men and abusing drugs. She dropped out of Ferris High School in the 10th grade and stayed with various people after that, never living in one place for very long. Angel Dawn Wilson is classified as an endangered runaway. She was 17 years old at the time of her disappearance, making her 28 today. At the time of her disappearance, she was 5'6 and 100 pounds. She has a long history of drug abuse, particularly methamphetamine use. She is described as a Caucasian female with blonde hair and bluish green eyes. Angel has a tattoo of a heart on her right hand and a scar in the center of her chest. She may use her maiden name, Rice. Now, Angel is considered to be at risk not only for the fact that she had a high-risk behavior of methamphetamine use, but also to the fact that she tend to gravitate more toward older men. 
On August the 20th, 1974, 16-year-old Cynthia Gooding and her friend, 12-year-old Teresa Alfonso, were dropped off at the Marathon Movie Theater in Marathon, Florida, which is now no longer in business. They planned to hitchhike to a party later that day. Neither one of the girls has been seen since. Cynthia had a history of dropping out of sight for a few days at a time, and because of this, investigators initially believed that she and Teresa had run away from home. Teresa had no history of running away, and her family described her as a very timid, shy young girl who wasn't having any problems at home and would not have gone anywhere with someone that she did not know. Teresa's mother is still alive and living in the area, as well as many of her siblings, and they have never stopped looking for her. At the time, Teresa was a student at Stanley Schwidlick Elementary School and lived with her family on 92nd Street. Teresa Armada Alfonso is classified as endangered missing. She was 12 years old at the time of her disappearance, making her 56 today. There are some discrepancies in height and weight, ranging from 5'2 to 5'5 5 5 and 115 to 120 pounds. However, NamUs lists her at 5'5 5 5 and 138 pounds. Teresa was last seen wearing a blue shirt, brown pants, and high-heeled shoes. She is described as a Hispanic female with light brown hair and brown eyes. She has a small gap between her front two teeth. She has a small scar below her buttocks. Teresa had a tonsillectomy and both of her ears were pierced. Her nickname is Terry and some agencies spell her name TH instead of TE and misspell her last name. And others simply refer to her as Terry Riggs. Cynthia's loved ones describe her as a typical teen who enjoyed water skiing. She had moved from her mother's house in Portsmouth, Virginia to Florida to be closer to her father and older brothers. She has a history of dropping out of sight for several days at a time. Because of this, investigators initially believed that she and Teresa had run away from home. Cynthia has four brothers, one of whom is now deceased, and one sister. Cynthia Robin Gooding is classified as endangered missing. She was 16 years old at the time of her disappearance, making her 60 today. There is some discrepancy in height and weight, stating 5'2 and 100 pounds, with NamUs stating she was 4'10 and weighed 87 pounds. Cynthia was last seen wearing blue jeans and a light blue shirt with yellow and white flowers. She is described as a Caucasian female with brown hair and green eyes. Cynthia has a scar on her left eyebrow and her ears are pierced. Her nicknames are Cindy and Cindy Robin. Investigators no longer believe that either girl had left on their own volition. Shortly after Cynthia and Teresa disappeared, both of their case files were destroyed in a fire at the police station and I'm not exactly sure what was contained in these files if it were just um, photos if it were fingerprints what I have no clue I have been unable to find out what exactly was destroyed but their original case files were destroyed shortly after they disappeared as always thank y'all so much for watching my channel don't forget to like and subscribe if you have not already uh, give this video, video a big thumbs up and as always my paypal and patreon are linked below and donations are greatly appreciated but not expected so if y'all would like to contribute in any way toward the channel um, those are definitely below as well as all pertinent information regarding the cases so case files numbers all that good stuff are all linked below and i will catch y'all on my next video bye